Hello and welcome to our virtual sixth form presentation. My name is Ove Rixey and I'm the sixth form year leader. This means that I have overall responsibility for the wellbeing and academic progress of all students in the sixth form. I'd like to start today's talk by sharing with you our vision for students at Falcon Sixth Form. We want all students to be given opportunities, life choices and be in an environment that allows for personal growth. So how can we achieve this aim? Firstly, we know that if students are to have as many opportunities as possible, they need to achieve results that facilitate their aspirations. We are very proud of our academic success. The measure of a successful sixth form is the attainment of the students, and we are very proud of our headline figures. Changes to A-levels over recent years have made them more challenging for students than ever before, and we are proud to maintain such positive results. We are able to achieve this due to a number of factors. We provide very good teaching by staff who are experts in their fields. The transition from year 11 to 12 is often very difficult and this is made much easier for students as they already know and are known by their teachers. We have smaller than average class sizes. The majority of our classes have 15 students or less. This means that every student is given individual focus and attention. Each student is part of a tutor group and they meet weekly for a session focused on study skills. We also timetable students for 10 lessons a fortnight of supervised study in a dedicated study area, which helps them to organise their time and work towards the 15 hours of study a week that is needed to be successful. Not only do we have very good outcomes, we also have very flexible programmes of study. At Feltham, we offer a breadth of curriculum that supports a range of learners. The majority of qualifications are level 3, which means courses that are equivalent to A-level standard. We have two main types of qualifications, A-levels and OCRs, or BTECs. A-levels are more traditional qualifications, much like many of the GCSEs that students will currently be taking. They are all two-year linear courses, which means that exams will be at the end of two years. Some A-levels have a mixture of coursework and exams, and others are 100% exams. We have over 20 different A-levels on offer for next academic year, ranging from the traditional courses you would expect, such as English, Sciences and Maths, to much more diverse subjects like three-dimensional design and photography. You can see a full list of the courses on offer in our prospectus and on our website. The other main type of qualification we offer are OCRs or BTECs. These have a larger element of internally assessed units, usually around 60%, and externally marked exams. Some of the OCRs are singles and some are doubles, which means they are the equivalent of, worth the equivalent of two A-levels. This year we will be offering more OCR BTEC courses than ever before, with 13 different courses on offer. At Felfirm, you can choose to study A-levels or you can combine A-levels with OCR qualifications. Many students successfully combine the two types of qualifications. You should also note that alongside Level 3 qualifications, students will have to complete their Maths and or English GCSE if they do not gain a Grade 4 in the summer. Students are very successful at gaining the qualification at this second attempt. To qualify for Level 3 courses, students will need to gain 5 Grade 4 to 9s. For a minority of students, we do offer a Level 2 programme of study which incorporates work skills, business enterprise and catering. This is completed in one year, often alongside both English and Maths GCSEs. You will see that we do have a recommended programmes of study, depending on the grades that students achieve at GCSE. Furthermore, we are very aware that sixth form is a very short period of time and is a stepping stone to what comes next. We work really hard to give practical advice and support to allow students to take those next steps and make any decisions about their future. The sixth form year manager is always on hand to help and we monitor students' progress and attendance closely. Interim reports are tracked and sent home three times a year. After each report, we analyse the data closely to see if any students need extra support. We have a tiered intervention policy in place, which means that we can offer support from subject teachers, tutors, the year manager or myself. We also have a mentoring programme in place for any students who might need it. We have an active student body and Sixth Form Council meets fortnightly to discuss ways that they can support each other and improve the Sixth Form further. We aim to ensure that all students leave sixth form with a clear plan in place. We begin to focus on this from Christmas of year 12. All students have the opportunity to visit either Sussex or Chichester University and attend a higher education fair where they can find out more about further studies. We think that it is really important that students make an informed decision about whether university is the right choice for them. Once students have made that decision, we work very closely with them to prepare them for the next stage. For those students applying to university, they have lots of input into helping them prepare for their UCAS application. They are supported in the whole process by myself, the year manager and their tutors. They have the opportunity to complete multiple drafts of their personal statement and they are completely happy with it. 
We also know that it's important that parents are involved in this process, so we hold an information evening about UCAS in May of Year 12. This process has previously been very successful and 50 students from last year have begun a place at university. We have students now studying at top universities including Bristol, Exeter and Southampton and studying a diverse range of courses from medicine and natural sciences to creative writing and film. We recognise that there are many pathways into the world of work. The traditional university route is just one. Many choose degree apprenticeships from local companies such as Rolls-Royce and for those students we have a clear programme in place which includes CV writing workshops, interview skills and apprenticeship talks, all of which is delivered through our life skills programme. This programme also helps to prepare students for the future by running sessions on first aid, understanding finances and an introduction to politics. We believe that it is important that students are given every opportunity to stand out from the crowd. We offer lots of enrichment opportunities, some of which are designed to give them additional skills and qualifications they could use in the future, including Silver Duke of Edinburgh and MOOCs. Others are options are offered to students support their, to support their well-being, such as sport and art. Students are also given the chance to show that they have leadership skills by being part of the Sixth Form Council or Charity Committees and ultimately by running for one of our six roles in the student leadership team. There is also the chance for Sixth Formers to help students lower down in the school by becoming mentors or supporting students in the classroom. Every student completes work experience in the Sixth Form and last year students took part in some excellent placements including the police, Virgin Airways, solicitors firms, hospitals and local primary schools. We offer excellent pastoral support that allows for personal growth. We know that it is important that students feel part of something different at sixth form. Students often feel the need for change at the end of year 11 and we believe we can offer both change and continuity. While students still need to be in college from 8.30 twice a week and 8.50 on the other days, they do have a very different timetable. Over the course of a fortnight, students set our timetable for 33 lessons out of 60. As already mentioned, supervised study accounts for 10 lessons, leaving students a further 15 lessons to carry out their own independent study. The college day does still end at 2.50, but if students do not have lessons in the afternoon, they are able to sign out and leave site from 12.30. We now have a brand new sixth form hub with a purpose design common room, kitchen, outside space and study room. Sixth form events are organised throughout the year, including quiz nights and a sixth form residential trip. I want to finish my talk by briefly explaining the next steps. After today, the next important step is to spend time exploring our new website, watching the videos from subject leaders and taking part in our virtual taster sessions. In November, students will be asked to complete an online options form to inform us of their plans and subject choices for next year. In January, we interview all students where we will discuss in detail students' course choices before offering places. Students receive their results in August and the sixth form team will be in college during results day and after to support students with any concerns or course changes. Finally, we will be offering a comprehensive induction programme in September when students will have the chance to make final decisions on course choices. Thank you for listening. Please do take the time to watch our promotional video and explore our brand new website. If you do have any further questions, please do email me by using the link on our website.